State Highway Patrol, Corporal Kerr speaking. There has been an accident at Trimble Road in the expressway. A car and truck are involved. You say two persons have been killed and there are several others injured. Have you called an ambulance? Your name? Telephone number. 764. Okay on the signal 30 en route. Okay on the signal 30 en route. Signal 30, the code that has a morbid meaning to the men of the Ohio State Highway Patrol. Signal 30 is the phrase that means another violent death on the highway. Another life snatched by carelessness. Another bloody statistic in the mounting toll of traffic's cost. Put yourself and your family in these untouched, unstaged scenes. You, or a loved one of yours, can easily be a Signal 30. We are at the scene of a double signal 30. Two lives have been lost, wasted because of the senseless violation of a simple, easy to obey traffic regulation. A truck loaded with cattle is moving along an expressway. From a feeder road, a passenger car containing seven people, five of them children, ignores a stop sign, moves onto the expressway into the path of the truck. This is the sickening result. The truck literally ran over the passenger car. Two people are dead, the driver of the truck and a child in the car. Two others are critically injured. The driver of the passenger car violated a stop sign where visibility in both directions was excellent. His own neglect and stupidity cost the life of his daughter and the life of a man who just happened to be in that place at that time. And here is the same area in which the twin fatality occurred. Only a few are paying attention to the red octagon, which is the universal signal for stop. Even boys on their bikes pump blissfully across the highway with no thought as to the meaning of the stop sign. What prepares a state highway patrolman for his exacting job? First, a period of rigid training. There is work in the classroom that covers law, situation, and procedure. There is physical training to sharpen the already splendid condition of the candidate. But something more must be there even before training starts. A spirit of dedication to the job that must be done. The combination of dedication, physical condition, classroom proficiency, personality, and adaptability all add up into an effective alert officer. These men will represent the state in its respect for law. After the exhaustive and sometimes exhausting training comes assignment and then the lessons that only experience can teach. The state highway patrolman has many duties that can be called routine. Among them, the spot checking of cars. This patrolman and his fellow officer are checking vehicles for safety factors, lights, horns, stoplights, and windshield wipers. This spot checking often finds minor troubles that are not known to the driver, causing him to be more mindful of the basic safety factors built into his car. It is, at best, a routine check, but it has its purpose in promoting a better safety record. The sign that denotes the speed limit of this particular zone is conspicuous, and so is the disregard for the sign's warning. The truck is ignoring it, and the result of such futile carelessness teaches a grim and grisly lesson. Two trucks are approaching each other. One is laboring up a hill. The other is moving at least 20 miles per hour faster than the legal posted limit. A minor fender bender has occurred at the bottom of the hill. When the truck driver sees the minor crash, he hits his brakes. The fully loaded semi-trailer jackknifes into the path of the slow moving truck. This is the raging, furious result. Two men are dead because one of them was too smart, 
to obey a speed limit warning. While one of the drivers burned to death in his cab, the other was blown through the floor of the cab of his truck by the force of the explosion that followed the initial impact. His body could not be removed until the fires had been extinguished and the wrecked trucks separated. You've seen the blackened body of a dead man in a horrible death, far from family and friends and even farther beyond help. And you see the beginning of a final ride as one of the drivers is carried away, a mass of charred flesh. Had the speeding truck driver observed the 45 mile per hour speed limit, there would have been a plus safety factor. There would have been no death. How many ifs dominate your driving habits?